Kicking it with Jason. <sighs> you know what I'm talking about today? I'm talking about cards. I'm talking about trading cards. I'm talking about a specific card. Michael Jackson. You guys know I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. I've been singing and dancing to Michael Jackson songs since, man, I could talk. So I could crawl. Always been a big fan. Um, I just love the work he's done. I love, I love, I love him as a human. What he's done for the world, how he's changed the world, and just the legendary life that he lived. Um, aside from all the controversies, which I believe is totally false, and other things he had going, just from being famous and you know just dealing with that, this this guy is is incredible, and uh, you know he's he's done a lot of good, and um, I had to get this card because. It's a 1984 Topps Michael Jackson Series 1 card. Um, it's a sticker. And on the back, the back of these, I guess you can collect them. Back in 1984, you can collect all the stickers and it creates a puzzle. So this is a piece of the puzzle and just creates a big, giant picture of his face when you connect them all. So I have one of those. This is a graded 10, PSA 10. I bought it for 80 bucks. And if you guys have been watching... My content or have been in tune what's going on with sports cards and trading cards um things are hot things are exploding in the basketball market football soccer market f-u-t-b-o-l football soccer market um even in football like you got the legendary players that are making some noise uh their cards are making some noise jerry rice cards even the rocks rookie rookie car from um uh his miami hurricane days I mean, it has a lot to do with his acting career more than it does with his football career. Um, Tom Brady won the Super Bowl. Those cards are, are crazy. Patrick Mahomes' cards are crazy. And then you got cards that, are, um, that aren't sports, that are doing amazing numbers, um, that are really hot, growing, trending super hard. Of course, Pokemon. You know, Pokemon is like, you know, I mean, they, they, they like a Charizard, a hollow Charizard is like the Michael Jordan of Pokemon cards, and that's a $300,000 card. Um, you can almost call that a million dollar card in the future for sure. And then you got Star Wars cards. Star Wars trading cards have taken off. I'm so glad that I bought some before it really starts taking off. And I was trying to tell people, I was like, yo, I think Star Wars is going to pop. Look what's happening with Pokemon. Look what's happening in trading cards, sports cards as, general, and, and as, as a whole. And look at what Disney Plus is doing. Look at what they're doing with the media, with their content, with bringing back uh, uh, nostalgia characters, Luke, Darth Vader. Man, their storyline. Star Wars is going to take off. And sure enough, it showed up in the cards. And then, you know, you got to look into other markets. Well, if it's, if it's hot over here, what's going to happen with um, magic cards? What's going to happen with um, uh, cards like this? Pop icon, legends, cards like these. Um, you know, they can really take off. So I saw some cards on eBay. Marvel. Yeah, Marvel too. Dude, Marvel is just um, hot, 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 growing. I wish I had some of those bad boys. If I had more coins, I would have some Marvel cards for sure. But um, looking to looking to Marvel cards, like there was a there was there was a five hundred thousand dollar Thanos card that I saw. And I was like, dude, I really want that. He had his rings on. It was like from 1992 or something like that. Um, so whoever picked those up, good job, man. If I had the coins, I'm telling you, I would have got that card. So, um, this, this card right here is not a sports card, but it's a trading card. And it's, it's the greatest musical icon, musical artist ever. The greatest album of all time, Michael Jackson. Who knows what generation, um, is more connected to this artist than any other generation. Like, like every generation is connected, knows a Michael Jackson song. Every generation does not know a Beatles song. Every generation does not know an Elvis song. Every generation does not know a Drake song. But they know Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is timeless. Any age, from a baby to a 90-year-old, knows a Michael Jackson song. I think Billie Jean is probably the greatest song of all time. I think it's one of the songs that's known most in the whole entire world next to the Happy Birthday song. I really honestly believe that i think anybody can hum billy jean i think anybody knows what billy jean is just like they know the happy birthday song um who has the biggest concerts michael jackson who um who has the most um 
who has revolutionized music for the black culture and opened up a lot of doors, Michael Jackson, who's created their own style, their own, their own brand, their own uh, dancing style, Michael Jackson, who mimics, who looks up, to, who, who's mimicked the most, who's looked up to the most in music, M Michael Jackson. This guy is incredible. Um, I mean, his, his accolades, his, uh, his music, his, his dance moves, his entertainment, what he's done as a human being, um, what he's done to change the world, help the world, and um, and everything is just uh, it's it's a big deal. And I I don't know I don't know if I'll ever even sell this card. I bought this for eighty bucks. You know, if this card somehow goes up to let's say in the future five thousand dollars or something or ten thousand, whatever. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'll ever sell it. I don't know because I'm I'm so much that I'm so much of a fan. That I rather just keep this and have it as part of my own art, and that's another reason why sports cars are exploding because everything is seen as art now. You know, you can have um, rare, limited, official, certified art. Um, people are going to want to collect that. People are going to want to have that in their homes so they can brag about it, so they can collect it, just like they would do with any famous painter. That's happening in cards. So that Michael Jordan card, that Kobe card, those LeBron cards, um, you know, that's art now. That's something. The Charizard card, the Pikachu's, the Bubble Swords, those are art, and and it's 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 something meaningful, and it holds uh, nostalgia. It holds um, a, a time in history, and um, I think Michael Jackson is definitely doing the same thing. Look at that man, Thriller jacket. <sighs> You know, how iconic is that? The greatest video, music video of all time, right here. So, I just want to just talk about that on my podcast and get this on documentation. So, you know, we can track this and uh, I can look back on this and remember the time I got this card. Do you remember the time when you got this card? Do you remember the time? Oh, yes, I do, girl. Thanks for listening.